Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your mattress, deep clean it, remove stains. We're going to put some baking soda on it and watch what happens. Now right here in your mattress, it's disgusting. Um, and these pillows, I have a video about how to clean and sanitize your pillows, so I will link that in the description box below. You don't necessarily have to buy brand new ones, you can if you want. But below this mattress, let me just take the sheet off here for you, we also have a mattress cover. And if you don't have one of these, you want to get one of these. I think I just got this at Target. They have really professional ones, or you can get cheaper ones just like this. But if you look at my mattress, I mean, it's really clean. It's white. So I've kept up with it here, which is super, super important. I would say every season, do a good deep clean of your mattress. I'm going to show you the methods of how to do that. And then flip your mattress every season as well. I just say seasons because it's four times a year and it's kind of something that you do when you're spring cleaning or getting ready for winter or getting ready for summer, fall, all that good stuff. What happens, even though I have a mattress cover here and I have a sheet here, water, perspiration, body sweat accumulates through this. Just think about it if you have sweat through a shirt or something like that. You sweat, I sweat so much throughout the night and guess what? Moisture is a breeding ground for bacteria and then it gets deep within the mattress right here so not only are we going to kill the bacteria that's on here we are going to deodorize it it's going to smell awesome have you ever been to somebody else's house and you can smell their house in a way every house has its certain smell well your mattress also has a smell but you can't smell it because you sleep on it every single night so let me show you a couple things that i like to do one other thing that i wanted to point out here if you use a humidifier like this one as we do here in wisconsin in the winter it is especially important because this puts moisture into the air, which you want because so that you can breathe better and sleep better, but you want to make sure that you are deodorizing your mattress and freeing it from any moisture that could accumulate down here as well. So if you use one of these, all the more reason. Now, this is not necessarily cleaning your mattress, and I am not sponsored by Mrs. Myers, but I spray this in my room every time I make my bed, just a few squirts, and it just makes the room smell oh so awesome. I love this honeysuckle one, and then there's a geranium one. The other thing, this is not necessary, but I like to do it. I'm a little extra over here. In here, I have white distilled vinegar. And as you can see, our mattress is doing pretty well here, but we're gonna put a stain on it, which is fun, and I will show you how I remove stains in order to keep it white. But what I like to do is let me just pop this open here and you can use white distilled vinegar. You can even use apple cider vinegar, cleaning vinegar. It doesn't really matter. So vinegar also deodorizes and it's acidic, 5% acidic if you get regular distilled vinegar. And so that also kills bacteria. Now, if you hate vinegar, um, I can understand that. The smell does dissipate fairly quickly, but I like to do this. It's just something a little extra, especially this is a place in our homes that we sleep on almost every single night, unless you're like me and I accidentally fall asleep on the couch or something <laughs> reading a book. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this sit for a second, but while that sits, let's go ahead and create a stain. Now I was gonna use mustard, but I didn't have any laying around. So we're just gonna go in with some Parmesan garlic. By the way, this is very, very tasty. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, ooh, look at that spewing out right there. That's disgusting. So this could be barf, vomit, things gross if you name it for all intents and purposes we're going to assume that has that has been sitting on our mattress for some time here and we need to get it up so what i have is just a warm bucket of water and then i have a little dawn dish soap you don't need to use dawn you can use any sort of detergent i just like this it's an excellent degreaser as well and i just think this works perfect um, there's a bunch of other options. We could combine baking soda and vinegar to get the stain up. We could put some hydrogen peroxide on there. Um, but I like to go in with a little bit of Dawn first and see. <laughs> we have some fun like uh, treats in there. And when we put the baking soda on here, when we are all done removing the stain, it's going to be pretty amazing here. Pretty amazing. It smells Parmesan garlicky right now that is some potent stuff i tell you what so thank goodness for the baking soda because that does help deodorize and think about it, if you put it in your fridge in your freezer you leave it in an open container because it helps absorb the smells and draws in moisture yes so that is coming up very nicely i'm not going to worry so much about the food particles because <laughs> we're going to get to that here in a second 
technically when you're putting up any stain or removing any stain, you want to blot it first as to not spread it into your mattress any more than need be. But I find oftentimes it needs a little extra scrubbing powder. This was some potent sauce, you all. Look at that. Okay. It is coming up nicely. We see there's a little yellow tint here. Don't you worry, my friend. Sometimes this just requires a couple of extra applications. And what we'll do here for a little bit of funsies, that is mostly up. It's wet, so I think it'll look much brighter when it dries. We'll come back to that here. But let's do this. Let's just put a little baking soda, or excuse me, uh, vinegar right in there. And then in this container right here is a little idea for you, an Old Spice. This had onion in it. I just have some baking soda. It's got a nice little sifter on it. And this is going to create carbon dioxide gas, which help lift stains even more so. I'm going to pat that in just a little bit. Make a nice paste. We'll come back to that here in a second. What I'm gonna do here for a little extra bonus is I'm gonna put a little bit of these essential oils, this is just eucalyptus here, and I don't have much left, in with the baking soda. And this is nice because it just makes this very lovely smell. And something about having a clean mattress and clean sheets and a fresh made bed when you get into it just makes a world of difference. Oh, oh, there we go. This is really running low. Um, and I would say if you're going to do this 10 drops, 15 drops, it de just depending upon how much baking soda we're going to put in it right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this cap back on. I swirled it around in there and it smells so nice. And here is our stain. We're going to let this soak while we let the baking soda soak here on our mattress. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put this all around your mattress so that it can soak up any of the moisture just like it does in your refrigerator and it can absorb any of the stink that you may not be able to smell, but if someone else were to stay in your house and in your bed, they probably would smell a little something. We all have our own personal sense right here. And again, perspiration and bacteria can soak through any sheet, any mattress protector. So the mattress protectors are important, but it's not a one and done sort of situation. Now you can get as crazy as you want with this baking soda. I have a queen size bed and I filled this about three quarters of the way. It's almost out now. And since I do this pretty consistently, this is going to be good enough for me. So if you can see, there's a layer across the bed of all the baking soda. So let's move on to our next step. I just have this little brush right here. You don't have to do this. You could use your hand. I've done that before, but now I'm just going to kind of brush it a little bit into the mattress, spread it across evenly, kind of like uh, you're combing something. There's our stain. We can already see it's lifting. If you can see it right buried in the baking soda and vinegar, that will be really nice when we let that soak for a little while. So we're going to rub this into our mattress and the longer that you can let the baking soda sit, just like you leave it in your refrigerator all day, air day, <laughs> the better. Now, if you only have a half an hour to let it sit, that's just fine. What I like to do is I like to do this in the morning. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I will shut my bedroom door, make sure my kids don't come in here. I have four of them if you are new. And then at the end of the night, like after dinner, I'll come in and I'll show you the next step of what we do here. And it just feels so much better to be sleeping on a clean mattress. One of the dirtiest things in your house. <laughs> including your pillows. So a good night's rest helps with everything in your life. So we're gonna go through here with this brush. Again, you can just do this with your hands. You don't need any special tools. And the vinegar that I showed you earlier, you can skip that step, I like it. You could also use rubbing alcohol, which is really nice. That dries more quickly than vinegar because it is alcohol-based and it does kill bacteria and deodorize as well. So I've done both methods. And again, you could just do the straight baking soda that we have right here. All right, we're gonna come back here at night, look at our stain and do our next step. It's been a couple hours here. I wanted to come and check our stain. So I just refilled this with some warm water and let's go ahead and check it. It still smells like Parmesan garlic. 
But look at that. I can see a tiny tinge of yellow still on there. Let's just rub it a little bit more. Here we go. Much better. Just a tiny bit of discoloration right there. I'm gonna let this fully dry. Just pat it a couple more times. And there we go. It's looking so good. I'm gonna come back here in a couple hours and we're gonna check the baking soda. It is much later in the day and let's just take a peek down here. Now it's kind of cool and kind of gross as you can see little clumps here of baking soda where it has absorbed some of the moisture and clumped up on here. But I will tell you, it smells awesome in here. That eucalyptus was just a nice, gentle touch. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get my vacuum. We're gonna vacuum this all up. This is looking so much better. It just feels better. I mean, that's the name of the game when it comes to this once you've been able to maintain having a clean mattress. Now, earlier in the day, I went ahead and washed this on hot water, so I will put this on. And then I did not do the pillows this time, but I will link that video in the description box below. And again, just deep clean your mattress, flip it every season, four times a year. That will just help you to remember much easier. And then if you can, avoid eating in your bed. I know that is hard, but any kind of crumb any sort of smell gets in the mattress and down below through the box spring and bugs are drawn to that as well as the moisture so if you can avoid it that's a thumbs up but i totally get it also if we're not friends on instagram come on over and say hello i have a newsletter you can sign up in the description box below for lots of freebies where i teach you how to turn your passion into profit and this cleaning channel is one way that i do it thumbs up subscribe and i will see you my friend in the next one